Hello, Scorpio. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Saw the, saw the world card right there, Scorpio. Hmm. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. That I do. Thanks for hitting that like button on the way in. That old bright red subscription button. Thanks for keeping it gray, because sometimes it goes back to red. Thanks, Scorpio, for <laughs> working your magic on all those buttons. You know, I definitely want to thank all you guys for your comments. I still read them all. I enjoy it. I definitely want to thank you for all the love that you're pouring out in the comments anymore for each other and for me. Thank you very much, my friends. I enjoy your loving comments. Definitely want to thank all my Scorpios that reached out and blessed me with donations. That's because there's a lot of you, quite the givers. I appreciate them all, large or small. Scorpio, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. Of course, a big shout out and thank you to Ramblin' Nation. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Uh, I do live broadcasts with my members twice a week, Wednesday nights and Saturday nights. We play cards over there, of course. Uh, Saturday nights anymore, I've been giving away free readings, one a week, to a member of Ramblin' Nation, amongst other things, tarot decks and t-shirts, all that fun stuff. And I want to thank all my members of Ramblin' Nation that have reached out to me recently for private readings. Thank you very much for all your support. I exclusively read <clears throat> privately for members of Ramblin' Nation. It's definitely one of the perks about being a member of Ramblin' Nation. So if you've been thinking about becoming a member or you'd like to book a private reading with me, hit that join button right there. Show up on a Wednesday night or a Saturday night or just go directly to my Ramblin' Nation community post. You get all the information that you're looking for about setting up a private reading with me. Wow, these cards definitely want to talk. That's Nine of Pentacles right there. And no more broken heart. Scorpio. All right, all right. The cards definitely want to talk, man. I like those cards right there, Scorpio. So I will see many of you Wednesdays and Saturdays. Also, before we get to these cards, you know I'm getting there. There's a party, Scorpio, I want to invite you to. November 6th, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I'm having a meet and greet. I'm inviting all my readers from Divinely Love Tarot. They're going to be in the house. I invited Batty from Battison Intuitive Tarot. And we all know her. We all love her. She's going to be in the house. I'm going to be in the house. A bunch of tarot readers running around. Full-blown dinner. Some wine. Some desserts. Of course, door prizes, t-shirts, tarot decks, free readings given out by all the readers in the house. Just want to let you know there's a link. Show you all the festivities coming up, Scorpio. You know the party, it ain't going to be the same without Scorpio in the house. One of the reasons why I picked it during Scorpio season, November 6th. Huh? It's party time. Everything's going to be direct. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you face-to-face, -face, Scorpio, November 6th. All right. Let's do it, love team. Let's take a little look-see at love right here. Relationships. All that fun stuff for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's tune in. Tell love team. Scorpio's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Scorpio see and hear what they need out of these readings today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Scorpio's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. All right, let's cut this deck right. Well, there's 10 wands right there. Definitely letting go of burden some cycles, huh? Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to throw out some love cards. I did get seven of wands. This is pretty fiery energy. It's somebody that's decided to stand up and do what's best for them. Choosing the path that they want to go down. They don't care what all these pokey stick people think about them moving in a direction that's positive for them. They don't care what other people think about doing what's best for them. It's a new sheriff in town, Scorpio. <laughs> Let's do it. Give me some love cards right here. Give me some love cards. You know, 
because it is the retro of all retros right now. <laughs> Things are going to start going direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pluto on the 6th and uh, what's uh, Jupiter going to go direct on the 10th, Saturn on the 13th, something like that. It is going to start going boom, 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 direct. Ooh, romantic feelings right here. Okay. Is there new in the air? <laughs> All right, is the old out? We're going to see you right here. Give me some love cards, Scorpio. What do we got? Separation. Oh, yeah, well, he's shuffling around earlier before the camera came on. You know, towers are flying out and stuff and all that. Separation on the board right here. Scorpio, what do we got? Oh, <laughs> yes. My favorite card, loving yourself first. That's Scorpio pouring out ooey gooey, soft and chewy love into themselves from themselves. Yeah. Loving yourself first right here, Scorpio. Ooh, and there's, the romantic feelings are there as well, which, you know, when you start getting ooey gooey all about yourself, for real, <laughs> it's going to show up in the 3D. And it's going to it's gonna let anything that's not ooey gooey fade away. Right. It's all self-love right here. And I got keep an open mind. <laughs> your soul may be, be different than your usual type. Come on. That's what we're looking for right here. Then I got to let your friends help you. Let your friends help you, Scorpio. Because, oh, look at this, man. She deserves love. She's shooting the bow and arrow where she wants it to go, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. All right. Where are we going right here, love team? Let's do it. Let's throw a Celtic cross out here with the Tarot Illuminati. And we'll clarify it with the Witch's Tarot and a couple majors. I'm going to give you a nice full spread. Here we go. Scorpio. First card out. Six of cups. <laughs> Six of cups. Well, that is sweet thoughts and nostalgia. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's that separation card. You know, a lot of, a lot of people may want to reconnect with somebody from the past. Right? I, I do got the world card right there, you know, in the reverse, which can talk about a cycle that may not have come to completion yet. Give me something on six cups right here. Oh, the wounded warrior came out. Nine of wands, my wounded warrior. Definitely have your walls up, you know, in a situation, maybe from somebody in the past. That's... But I got to go with right here, separation, loving yourself first, six of cups, somebody's got sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet with it, Scorpio. But you know, I got a wounded warrior looking at it all right here. Why, you know, why is the wounded warrior looking at six cups that way? Well, because not every soulmate that we play with is the one that's going to be sweet to us forever, right? Wounded warrior got the walls up. I do have that ace of wands in their hand, though. That's because my old wounded warrior, they got no quitting sense when it comes to love. Maybe new love. I'm just feeling that right here. Definitely loving yourself, man. Yeah, ace of wands in reverse. You know, that's a challenging thing with that ace of wands. Uh, it can go out just as fast as it showed up. So I hope who's showing up here for Scorpio brings more than a... Uh, <laughs> A broken wand. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, ten wands, man. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too stoked about what I see with the old retrograde energy. Here we go. But I do love Scorpio loving themselves first. But base five of wands. The tussle card. The fighting. The arguing. The contrast card shows us what we don't want, so we can set our intentions and manifest what we do want. Right? This is fighting and arguing, competition in the love arena, and all that stuff that should not be in Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I got more fire energy, two wands. Ooh, I'm telling you, feeling Scorpio may have their eye on something new. A lot of us do. Not a, I mean, at this time of the year, regardless, a lot of us just don't want to take this old energy into a new year. We start looking at it, all of us, this time of year, regularly. Are we going to take this and go do this one more time? Mm. 
two wands. <laughs> you, do you have your eye on a new world? <laughs> I love it for you, Scorpio, if that's, if that's the case, because the Wounded Warrior. Let's go get some sweet six cups, right? Give me something. Recent past. What are, Scorpio, star showed up right here. Star showed up in the recent past. You know, that's great hope, great faith. The potential of your dreams to become reality. What's under that is four of wands. You know, that's dancing around the maypoles. Preparing for the big day. There's a magician right there, too. Look at, look at what jumped out right here. The, four, the star, the four of wands has showed up. The magician. That's the manifester. Right? It, it could be a communication card with a little star. What's going on here, Scorpio? <laughs> and, and, then, and then your major arcana rider, death. Major transformation. You know, the transmutation of energy right here. Old cycles ending so that new cycles can begin. Six of wands can be about receiving the attention that you're worthy of. It can be about victory after a battle because of confidence in yourself. There it is. That's that death card, right? Five of wands, wounded warrior, six of cups, energy. I mean, if you just met the star right here, you've been chatting with the star right here, whatever. You know, that's Aquarius. I got Scorpio right there. Uh, this, the magician is Gemini, Virgo, Aries. May mean something to you, may not. If you've been talking to them, this and then... This would feel like you've known this person forever. But we got this right here, huh? And I got an Ace of Swords on, uh, on the end of that big old clump that jumped out right there. Ace of Swords, right? That's a new beginning, new communication. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. That is that very sharp sword that can... Cut the ties that bind so that Scorpio can go to the star right there. Here we go, man. What an interesting read. Loving it for you. Yeah, two wands still after all that right there. Yeah, here we go. Crown on the spread. Scorpio loving on themselves first. Here we go. Got a moon card up there. This is all in this in this vertical line right here, right? The moon card is the old smoke and mirror trail right? No clarity. Do I want to go down this trail anymore? Bunch of freaking towers on the moon card, you know, in hopes that the sun was shining over there. I don't, I don't care for it up on top of the spread. I do like what's coming out right here though, you know, <laughs> all of this coming across. Let's see what's coming in in the near future. The moon is about, right, using your intuition. Give me something right here. Near future, Scorpio, six swords. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, that's at least thinking about getting in the boat right here and heading on over to Paradise Island. It, it, can, it, is, it is a movement card, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Death card, magician, star, six of wands. Four wands, ace of swords. <laughs> Scorpio ain't going down that smoky trail right there. It's in this vertical part of this spread. I do like this horizontal part right here where, you know, our wounded warrior who isn't giving up on love, right? Gonna get in the boat right there. You know, always, uh, she looks sad. Learned a lot of life lessons. I always see this as source coming to get us. I always see this as the inner child looking up at the oarsman like, it has been challenging, Mr. Mr. Oarsman. Uh, we learned a lot, though. Can you take us over to Paradise Island over there, sir? Thank you so very much. Scorpio. It's nice, man. Five cups. A lot of fives here. Fives for me are always about change. Change because of contrast. Which is really our friend because it shows us what we don't want. Lord have mercy. Here we go. So we can get in the boat and go get what we do want. Give me a card on Scorpio. Eight cups. Oh, yeah, you know, that's what I see with a lot of these returns and all that in my spreads is that I don't think a lot of people are going to take this into the new year. We're going to, a lot of us are going to get in the boat and see what's over on Paradise Island over there. You know, this is nice, man, over here at Scorpio. 
This is walking away from anything that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. Walking away from anything that's covered up with smoke and mirrors. Beautiful. You're loving yourself first. <laughs> I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Give me something right here. Exterior influence. Six of cups. Nine wands. A strength card came out. A major arcana. Leo may mean something to you, may not. In this spread right here with these that I'm looking at, I'm going to run with uh, the story of the lady in the white. It's a, it, you know, it's, this is the story of the beauty and the beast. The lady in the white is tuned in to source, the heart chakra, throat chakra open, third eye, crown chakra open. And they're dealing with the old beast over there. You know, the lower chakras, right? Fuck, fight, or flee, right? There's a polarity difference here. Definitely six cups, but the energies are changing so much that if people do not pick their vibration up, I mean, they're not going to be around, even if they want to be. Anyway, I know that's getting kind of deep, but this is a strength card from the universe there's a lot of you know passion and connection all that in this with that strength card right it it is the lust card as well right and it's strength it's taming the beast on the inside tuning into source and just taking a good long look i mean eight cups the strength card right six swords that that is movement scorpio maybe head over heart at right now because you may not know this star over here all that well. They just showed up and blew up over here. <laughs> they blew up over there, Scorpio. Two pins, says that Scorpio's keeping yourself balanced at this particular point in time, right? The infinity symbols here, man. And there's a uh, old temperance right there, Michael the Archangel. Both of those balance cards are here, Scorpio. Taming the beast, loving yourself first. Not going to play with anything emotionally unfulfilling to you. That star has blown me away over there in The Magician. Give me a hope or a fear. Scorpio. Oh, King of Swords came out after Mikey was talking about head over heart decisions. This is also uh, air energy, right? Could be a hope. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I mean, I like all the kings, right? Entrepreneur energy, smart. That, that, that person's smart, man. I like it, but, you know, it can also be that energy of head over heart. And I see all that right here. Six swords, eight cups, strength card, king of swords comes out. But, you know, when king of swords comes out after all this, six swords, eight cups, strength card, they're going to use that sword to cut themselves free from any of this moon, five wands energy. Or at least thinking about it with six swords. <laughs> Here we go. Give me a give me a weather overall, Scorpio. All right, I'm digging it. It's four of swords. It's just taking a minute for yourself right here. This is the whole weather overall right now. It's really best advice during the retros. They're all, they're all going to go start going direct by the end of the month. It's going to be a whole different world again. That's why I have my party during your season. Anyway. Four Swords is about healing the heart, healing the mind, spending time with Source, and preparing to use this sword that continues to show up right here by the Death card. Preparing to use this sword to cut yourself free from the ties that bind. Here we go. Here we go. Whew, two cups is under that. I swear. Oh, my God. An Ace of Cups. Me, this is new. <laughs> this is new. All right. I'm glad to see we're talking about new right here. All right. Give me something. Give me something on this. Scorpio, we're going to play with the witch's tarot and just throw some more cards on this. Just have some fun. Here we go. Six of cups. Nine of wands. Give me something on it. Oh, the queen of wands showed up. Ooh, what is that energy about? You know, I mean, a queen of wands that shows up on a spread like this all by itself. I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, it's good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. Definitely lines up with that Leo card, right? They're just saying, whatever. I love my Leos. I definitely do. But this is very fiery energy, you know. 
good looking, male or female. They go get what they want. <laughs> they go get what they want, Scorpio. You know, the old wounded warrior looking at it all right there. You know, male or female. Be like, well, easy. Easy, easy, hotty hot. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's more to the journey than just a wand. Here we go. <laughs> Give me five wands right here. Five wands. Ooh, what is this, man? It's the king of wands. See, I'm telling you, this is a serious old soulmate connection here, huh? Ooh. The passion is off the charts, man. Anyway, I mean, relationships need to be more than just about passion. But anyway, <laughs> that works great for a while, man. But if that's all there is, a bunch of wands flying around. That's what that looks like to me, Scorpio. A bunch of wands flying around. Anyway, base of the spread. Here we go. Give me something about this star over here. Something about this star that's shining in Scorpio's world. Thank you, love team. Ooh, it's a Knight of Pentacles. I get excited over these cards. These are nice. Because, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, in my opinion, is the only knight that ever gets to the finish line. And they go one step at a time. Got something growing over here. <laughs> Somebody don't like it. It is what it is. I want Scorpio to go get their star. Give me some on that moon right there. Thank you, love team. It's the wounded warrior. No, not going down that smoky trail. No. I may be telling off your secrets because there's a star right here, but this star is showing up because you are loving on yourself first. Two nine of wands. Head over heart decision right here with that old king of swords energy and the king and the queen of wands, right? Huge passion, but... You know, it's full of fives and whatever else, huh? Whoo! Oh, and there's another five, five swords. You know, that's the old manipulation and control card for me. Is that card that, you know, is involved with four swords? Because this is the healing. This is about standing up and doing what's best for you. And putting yourself up in the front of the card of your life. This is firing somebody. <laughs> Six swords under that. All right. <laughs> I love you, Scorpio. Give me some. Give me some on this Six Swords. Scorpio going on a new journey right here. That's what I see. Here we go. Give me some on that Six Swords. Ooh, to the land of equal give and take. Six Pinnacles? <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Here we go. Here we go. Eight cups. Eight cups. Ain't going to play with nothing that ain't emotionally fulfilling me no more. Ooh, three cups on top of that, right? And that's nice. See, because that can be about meeting new and exciting people. It can also talk about somebody coming back from the past. They're right here. The Scorpio says, no thanks. There was too many parties that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> this is Scorpio be like, I'm going to go find my own parties right here. <laughs> I'm going to find my happiness, my joy, my bliss. Because <laughs> I'm loving myself first. Wow, lover's card. What's this over here, man? <laughs> Could be a whole new world coming in here for you, Scorpio. The lover's card, which is a, a choice between lovers, right? You may not know this person all that well yet. Clearing this up, definitely. Yeah, a new beginning. An ace of coins, right? That's the cornerstone of the ten pinnacles. That's all got to go over there for me. All right, all right, I love it. Give me, give me some on the strength card right here, Scorpio. Thank you. Oh, that's that's just that's just clear right there, Scorpio. That's your card the second time, the death card. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation for Scorpio. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
two major arcana riders. This is a huge cycle. Scorpio learned all the life lessons. I know that we're supposed to learn and all that. Wow. Give me some on this King of Swords. King of Swords. Ooh, it's a Knight of Swords. There's a King of Swords and there's a Knight of Swords. See, there's two. There's definitely two. I, one's definitely more mature than the other one. You know, because I always see the old lightning pony as somebody comes galloping in with about a thousand apologies. They don't know if you're going to take them or not. That way they're prepared to get out again real fast. Scorpio's just taking a break from it all. Temperance again. Letting things unfold. This is about all the cooperative components coming together for you. It's about being at the right place at the right time. Look at this energy right here. It's so beautiful, Scorpio. It's all about you loving on yourself right now. And letting this unfold. Definitely shutting a door from what I can see. Letting your friends help you too. Super nice energy right here. Give me, give me one more on four swords right here. Scorpio. I love it, man. Got eight wands. That's new for me. It's new communication. It's regular communication. It's keeping arrows of love flying around. I don't know. Maybe it's somebody a little bit of a distance from you, but I definitely see communication picking up over here with the old star person right here, right here, right here. I do, because there's definitely a door closed due to five swords. <laughs> Give me a major. Scorpio, I love you. You know I do. Let's go. Let's do what's best for you. I'm super stoked to this read. Here we go. Major. <laughs> Hair fans showed up. Taurus energy. Oh, you know, I mean, you may be breaking free right from even a committed relationship or something that, you know, had hair fant energy on it. Oh, my goodness. For the lover. They say that this star right here, you know, <laughs> has the potential. Oh, I love it. It's just a star right now. Stars of out in the future. Right now, Scorpio, will be just loving on yourself. And I hope you are talking to somebody new. I love you, Scorpio. Hope you enjoyed the read. I did. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Scorpio. Bye for now.